Welcome back children. So we will see basidiomycetes. Last video we have discussed about phycomycetes and ascomycetes. And ascomycetes, phyco means it is uh, what is the sexual spores of uh, phycomycetes. Sexual so, uh, spores of uh, phycomycetes is zygospore. Okay. And what is the sexual spore of ascomycetes? Ascospores. How many spores? 8 spores. They are produced inside the asci. And next advanced form of the uh, fungi is basidiomycetes. Here only 4 spores are produced but it is not endogenously but it is exogenously. So if the difference means in competitive exam they will ask what is basidiomycetes? Basidiomycetes it is an advanced form of fungi. It used to form 4 basidiospores not endogenously but exogenously. For to understand only I have sent one picture no you just refer the picture so you can able to compare endogenous nature of ASCII and exogenous nature of the basidiospores. Now I will explain basidiomycetes in detail. So we know it is commonly known uh, basidiomycetes groups are mushrooms and bracket fungi. What is the bracket fungi mean? This is the structure of bracket fungi okay. Like this we can able to see the structure this is the structure of bracket fungi. And what is the other name for bracket fungi is puff balls. Okay, puff ball. These are the common uh, known uh, forms of basidiomycetes. And where they will grow means they will grow in soil and, and logs and tree areas. And it will be in living plant bodies as a parasites. Okay, I, we have discussed no rust, wheat rust. It was caused by paxinia. So, this is the wheat rust. Now, compare the normal leaf. No, this is a normal leaf. And after affecting by the paxinia, the leaf become like this. So, this is only we call it as wheat rust. Wheat rust disease was caused by paxinia. And also smut. Smut is a another kind of disease. And here the mycelium is branched and it is asept. It is septed. So, mycelium is branched like this and they have a cross wall. So, we can see center, we can see nucleus. And what are the common members now? We can tell agaricus. Okay, agaricus is a common uh, agaricus is a common um, example for basidiomycetes. So we'll tell mushrooms and also astiliga. So this is very important. I have told no smut is a disease. So astiliga we can able to see. Okay, in maize in maize plant. Okay, in maize plant we can see astilica disease and paxinia we can see in the wheat plant. Okay, wheat plant. Here all although this fungi are very specific to host plant. For example, uh, this uh, no, um, astilica means it is very specific to some of the plant. Like that paxinia will be very specific to wheat plant. And agaricus we have known, we know that mushroom is a common example for agaricus. So, this, this is a characteristic regarding basidiomycetes. So, this is agaricus, uh, scientific name for mushroom and this is a um, wheat rust caused by paxinia. And here basidiomycetes means what and all character you want to know. Common example for basidiomycetes is mushroom and what we have learned are toadstools uh, that is a poisonous mushroom that is also this category only and bracket fungi or puffball. And here uh, other disease, what are the parasite, uh, uh, paxinia and all parasites and what kind of disease it will cause, Para paxinia and astiligo, okay, astiligo and paxinia, these are uh, common example for parasites, okay. And what kind of disease it will cause means, astiligo will cause smut and paxinia will cause rust disease. So, what is the common disease under basidiomycetes means, the rust and smut that you write, underline in your textbook also. And here mycelium is branched and we can see a cross wall between that and that is why we are called as septate um, and mycelium is branched. And here normally we will see uh, interesting two part asexual reproduction and sexual reproduction. So here asexual reproduction by okay asexual reproduction by a normal um, uh, normal fragmentation only, normal fragmentation only under asexual reproduction and here come to sexual reproduction, actually sex organs are absent but we have learned in ascomycetes, no? sex organs are present, so male anthridium, female argigonium, they fuse together and uh, they form a ascospores but here sex organs are absent 
but we can see fusion of uh, protoplasm and fusion of nuclei once the fusion of nuclei and protoplasm was uh, taken place means automatically we can see the formation of next generation okay here you want to remember sex organs are absent but we can see plasmogamy now take your book page number 24 okay a sixth line okay fifth line the sex organs are absent but plasmogamy is brought about by fusion of two vegetative or somatic cells of different uh, strains or genotypes so two different uh, bracket fungi or two different uh, mushrooms they all will be neighbor only so this uh, will fuse with that two different strain for example uh, this is one uh, uh, basidiomycetes this is other basidiomycetes so they fuse together while fusing the protoplasm now the protoplasm will join together so the joining of protoplasm only will call it as plasmogamy what do you mean by plasma plasma means protoplasm gamy means fusion so fusion of protoplasm we can call it as plasmogamy and how it is uh, how it will happen means because uh, because of the joining of two different uh, strains or two different genotypes of um, uh, mushrooms so it will be near so they will join together so first plasmogamy would occur and afterwards we can see dikaryotic stage this is only dikaryotic dikaryotic means two nuclei will be in one uh, cell even one cell even we can see two nucleus so this is only we can call it as dikaryogamy so first process is plasmogamy okay under sexual uh, sexual reproduction first process is plasmogamy there protoplasm will fuse second is dikaryogamy there two carrion carrion means nucleus two nucleus will be there that's why we can call it as two carrion so this condition we can call it as dikaryogamy or dikaryon so after uh, some time these two nucleus will fuse together okay and they will form a one uh, structure that structures only will call it as basidium that structure only will call it as basidium so what is basidium after the fusion of two vegetative or somatic cells of different strains of genotypes the resultant structure will be dikaryotic and after the fusion they start to, to form basidium now the basidium is ready now this basidium is ready with a fusion of two dikarya now it will become a single and afterwards it start to, to form externally or exogenously four basidiospores is that clear children so for that only we are telling here there is no sex organ so sex organs are absent but even though sex organs are absent but it can able to form four basidiospores these four only we can call it as basidiospores these four basidiospores are produced exogenously so it is not present inside the body it will used to come out or it used to protrude out so that's why we can call it as exogenously but how basidium is formed basidium is formed because of the fusion of two different strains of basidiomyces they will join together first protoplasm will join then uh, nucleus will join so after protoplasm join a uh, very short time the two nucleus will be as such it won't join so that uh, intermediate stage we can call it as dikaryon so this dikaryophase afterwards it fuse together and it will form a one fruiting body that fruiting body only will call it as basidium okay it will call it as basidium so this basidium will start to form four basidiospores it started to form four basidiospores and this basidiospores uh, no and it's continue its life cycle it will continue its life cycle so that's all about the basidiomycetes and what and all characteristic you want to remember here asexual reproduction is present sexual is also present but no sex organ and interestingly two basidiomycetes will join together first plasmogamy then dikaryon stage then dikaryogamy then it will form basidium then outer four layer it will form a four basidiospores okay that's why we are called as exogenously basidiospores were produced and the fruiting body we can call it as basidiocarps the fruiting body of ascomycetes ascomycetes ascocarp 
so asco corp will produce eight asco spores but in basidiomycetes basidio corps will produce four basidio spores alone that to exogenously what are the common example agaricus agaricus is a common example that is mushroom and astiligo it will cause smut disease and paxinia it will cause rust disease okay that's all about the basidio mycetes next we'll move on to the uh, last part of this today's class deuteromycetes okay what do you mean by deuteromycetes children deuteromycetes means we'll tell uh, advanced also we can tell it is an imperfect fungi why we are call it so because here in this deuteromycetes we can see vegetative and asexual but there is no sexual reproduction okay that's why we are call it as sexual uh, if there is no sexual reproduction means we can call it as imperfect fungi so if the question is like that in your competitive exam what is the example for imperfect fungi means you want to go for deuteromycetes and what is the advanced also you can write deuteromycetes why because uh, without sexual reproduction even they can able to continue their life so that is also an advanced character so deuteromycetes is the uh, imperfect fungi here only asexual and vegetative phases we can see and the sexual forms of these fungi were discovered means automatically they will go to the basidiomycetes or ascomycetes it won't be in the deuteromycetes category and some members are saprophyte or parasites while large number of them are decomposers only so all most of the deuteromycetes are d for d you can remember deuteromycetes groups are all comes under decomposers only it will be on the litter to decompose and it is very important to go for mineral cycling too and what are the some common examples for uh, deuteromycetes children alternaria colidotrichum and trichoderma these are the some fungi name okay alternaria colidotrichum trichoderma see for your competitive exam or for your future competitive exam you want to remember the ncert example that is more 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 than enough only to relate it you want to go for reference book but for example you want to stick on with your ncert book alone so if the question is like that give examples for deuteromycetes means you want to go for alternaria colitotrichum trichoderma basidiomycetes means you want to go for mushroom toadstools and astiligo paxinia ascomycetes means we have learned no? claviceps neurospora morels truffles and what is the common example for pycomycetes you want to write it as albigo rhizophus and also mucor so at the end of this class please make a one flow chart in your notebook write ascomycetes basidiomycetes uh, pycomycetes deuteromycetes write common character and write the uh, different character and write the examples write some few uh, disease name and whenever if you are going for appearing for exam and automatically this is very important to go through and to revise also please do that work is only for you to uh, succeed in the competitive exam okay just form a one concept map just to form a tabular column for all the four group of basidiomycetes sorry uh the fungi fungi alone okay thank you children so next class will continue kingdom plantae animalia virus viriod lycon that is all very easy before even i'll send a video but whenever you'll have time you just watch and keep next class we'll have discussion in the kingdom plantae animalia virus okay thank you children